Hi guys, so we are moving from solid geometry to interpenetrations and development. So those who did not do or have EGD in high school are probably wondering what is interpenetration and development. Interpenetration and development builds from solid geometry. It's it's the same thing as solid geometry. It's just we're no longer dealing with the cutting plane. So if you have a hexagonal prism like this in solid geometry, you'll probably be given the cutting plane that crosses the front view. But now in in interpenetration and development, you will be having something like this, a hole through a solid. So this hexagonal uh, prism has a hole through it in a form of a triangle. But it comes dif uh, in different ways. It can be in a form of a square, in a form of anything. So in this case, we are dealing with a, a hole through a prism or a hole through a solid in a form of a triangle. Now, uh, I wanted to highlight one thing that we need to make sure that we master. Numbering. So in, in solid geometry, if you didn't uh, understand numbering, it was uh, tough, but you can do it. But now it's worse because you are dealing with uh, too many lines and you need to, to, mas to master your numbering. So I've already numbered the top view, which is there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then now, since you have a hole in the form of a triangle, triangle has three points. So that's why, hence I numbered A, B, C. So <clears throat> in interpenetrations, we will use solid geometry to learn the methods of locating the points of intersection formed between a hole and a surface. So A, B, C is a hole. So this is a hole in the form of a triangle. Now we need to um, locate the exact points of the hole. So now you can see that A, B, C are the main points of the hole. But you also have two, uh, I mean four points there. This is where the hole um line maybe let's take ac ac in this point ac in this point wraps around this line which is five and one that line is five and one let me just number the uh okay the other way around so but it doesn't matter so four and two three and six so this a line here, AC wraps around line five and five and one and one, since here is five and one. So these points have names. So ABC, since as they are the exact points of the whole, I will name them the termination points. So ABC are the termination points. Now these points where the the hole uh, wraps around the other line this point and this point and that point and that point these points are going to be called turning points because that's where the line AC wraps around this line so we're going to call these points turning points now since we have a hole in the front view. The hole will be represented as um, hidden lines in the top view because you are looking from the top. You are looking from the top. So the top view, the hole in the top view will be represented with uh, hidden lines. So still, we need to number those hidden lines. So from there, that point is B. It means here it's B, B. Since C there, in the top view will be C, C. A is there, A and A. So we've numbered the top view, we've numbered the front view. Now, I want to mark the turning points. So I'll just mark the turning points just for you to see where the, the turning points are. So those are the turning points. So now, when you get the question, the question, this will be given, obviously not the numbering. 
but the top view and the front view will be given. So you need to project the, the, the right view. In this case, we need to project the right view. So how do we do that? We need to locate the termination points and the uh, turning points first. I already did that. <clears throat> so I need to project the, the turning points. I mean the termination points, which are A, B, and C. So from here, I'll project A and B. It's A on the right side, and that's B. Remember, we are projecting the right view. So when I, I say the right view, I mean we are looking from this side. So you are standing from this side. Your eyes are looking from that side. Okay, so we've projected A, B, and C. <clears throat> So also need to project A, B, and C from there. These are the, t are the t termination points. So with C is here. Okay, let's start with A. A is here. Where it meets with this A, that's a point. Then here is A. And then A and B. So, and then also here it's A and B. A and B, and then where's C? C will be there, since it meets. That will be C, and then on the other side will also be C. Now, I'm done with the termination points. I'll move to the turning points. Now the turning points, I've marked the turning points in the, in the in the front view. Now we need also to mark the turning points in the in the top view. So the turning point is between C and B. So if this is C and that's B, it means the turning point is there, which will be in the corner of two here. The turning point looking in the front view, that turning point is between C and B. Going to the top view, if it's C there and then that's B, then it means the point in between is the turning point. So that's the turning point, C and B, 4 is the turning point, um, C and A, that point, C and A there, it's a turning point. And then the last one, A and B. A is there, I mean A and C again, okay, A and C again, that's another turning point. So we we have four turning points, one, two, three, four, sharp. Now we need to project those turning points. So in the front view, turning point, uh, two there is the first turning point. It means that point will be the first turning point and then on the other side that will also be the turning point since and then from the back we have two turning points so we project them that will be the first turning point from the back and that will be the second one since it connects with that one so now we have our turning points and termination points so i'll just draw them in So that's it. Then you go to the termination point with C. And C there. So we are done with the termination points and the turning points. Now you need to draw the whole thing. 
so obviously since you are looking from the right view you have to know what you are going to see so looking from six you are going to see six the whole line which is there so you need to see six which is this line and you are going to see one but since there's a hole so it will be cut right there and five on this side you also see the whole line but because there's a hole there will be a space there and then finish the top then that is your, your right view you can see that the, there is a turning point marks with, marked with x and you can see that okay it turns there there then there and there 